So guys, today a Banff Not video on the channel today. We're here for the new Castle United versus Everton predicted team. Such a massive game. Doing a double upload on this Monday night. I didn't have time over the weekend to do these videos. So I would have done the preview Sunday and the predicted team on the Monday. But you go, you're both getting them. I could have easily just done one preview. But we're still getting the two videos done. So if you want to go and watch the preview, there'll be an eye button at the top. There'll be a link in the description and on the end screen. But it's a massive game on Tuesday night. I can't wait for it. I'll be in work fit about it all day. Getting ready and hopefully when Newcastle United can pick up three points tomorrow. Anyways, boys, make sure to subscribe, turn them notifications on for the vlog tomorrow. I can't wait to be in St James's Park. It's gonna be a lethal one. But let's get the predicted team, boys. Let's just, let's stop the speaking and let's just show the predicted team. I've got to say this in every video because people forget uh, this team is what I think will get announced at a quarter seven tomorrow, right? Not the team that I want, right? This team that I think will get played. So I've got to put the context. Anyways, predict the team now. This is the team that I think will play against Everton at home. Massive game. We'll go through each player like we always do. Ingle, Martin, Dubravka. Kept two clean sheets this season. Both in a 1-0 win. Hopefully he can keep another clean sheet this season. I say another one. He's only kept two. But it would be nice to get another clean sheet. It was it was nice to get a, a clean sheet against Leeds. So hopefully we can get back back clean sheets and, and build it and get the... Get the um, the goal difference up and, and these little games getting one, two goals up, it can change it all. So if we can keep a clean sheet with the Bravga, I would love to see it. Right back, Trippier. I think he will, obviously, he, he will sort. We all know that. Centre backs. Everyone wants Shawburn and I want Shawburn. Do I think it's going to happen? No, I can't see Eddie out taking the risk by one dropping Lascelles because it's the captain. I think he deserves to be dropped. I think Dan Burns should come in, but. It's Eddie Howe and he doesn't like to take many risks as a manager so I think he will stick by his captain. Left back Matt Target, get his Premier League debut with Newcastle United so hopefully he can have a good debut. CDM, centre mid, the, the playmaker, the goat, it's Bruno. Um, I'm not going to try and say his second name until it gets announced in the stadium so I know how to say it. Um, Bruno and CDM with Shelby and Joe Linton. I can see Shelby starting after his goal against them Leeds. Good goal, he had a good game as well. I can't see Joe Willock coming in, even though Joe Willock grafted his arse off all game and I thought it was immense against Leeds. I can't see him coming in because I can see Joe Linton starting because he's been so good and that Brazilian connection could help Bruno with a speaker in, Port uh, in, 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 in Portuguese and whatnot. So that can help but, but Bruno's first game. Obviously, it might make him a little bit more comfortable and obviously it's his best pal. He's already said in an interview it would be nice for him for, for Bruno's sake and for the team's sake. The attack is what I think we all expect. Fraser's been put in the graft in recently. He needs a goal. He has not scored a Premier League goal for Newcastle. He signed nearly two years ago and not scored a goal for Newcastle. Castle United, apart from Blackburn in the cup, we need to see him get a goal. So hopefully that is the case. Hopefully he can get a goal against Everton. Um, obviously Saint Maximin will start. He's got the most double success this season um, in, in the Premier League. So that is my goal. And then up front, Chris Wood. He'll be the majority, majority of the season now. Seeing Chris Wood up front and not Callum Wilson. But that is the end of the predicted team, boys. That is it. It's done. Let's see if Newcastle United can pick up three points tomorrow. I can't wait for the game. Anyways, lads, have a good one. Hopefully Newcastle United can win. And yeah, boys, see you all for the vlog tomorrow. How are the lads?